here in the backcourt. So it's Phil said there's different lineups, <laughs> not only every game, but every half, it seems. Well, last year, the Sacramento Kings turned it over more than any team in the NBA. They were dead last Kings out of the 30. The Lakers were 11, which was an improvement. Well, let's see. It's early in the preseason. And a lot of different combinations on the floor. As Kobe got a piece of it, creates the turnover. Put it off the glass. So Kobe's out there, as you mentioned. And right away, looking for his own. He thought he was fouled by Salmon from behind. And guess who read the pass? Trevor Ariza slams to Robert Garcia. <laughs> There's that anticipation again. <laughs> Trevor almost baits you into it, and then he'll stop and then make that burst into the passing lane, gets the interception, and then takes it to the rack. And finishes. It's that's, uh, that's just good anticipation and obviously better finish. It's almost, uh, and granted, it's early in his career, be, it's becoming a trademark of his. That he will burn you a couple of times a game like that. And he's very casual about bringing it up. It makes you concentrate more on your uh, offensive end of the floor. Shot clock down on Mikey Moore and Garcia. You don't want to foul this deep, and the Lakers that's get the stop. Garcia upset that they passed it to him that late in the shot clock, as you can tell. <laughs> it's tied at 49. So the Kings now with 14 turnovers, the 11 for the Lakers. They made that deal, moving Mike Bibby to Atlanta. Sheldon Williams and a first-round pick coming over the primary deal. As Kobe, short of the three, picked up by Udrin. The primary consideration of the deal, though, was get rid of salary. And they did that because Mike Bibby had a, another year left on his contract this season with a big number next to it. Garcia denied. And, you know, Pau Gasol came over and altered it a little bit. Kobe Bryant grabbed on his way. So looking for early offense, Follow and it's going to come out of the side. Well, he was telling uh, yeah, he was trying to pass. He was passing. He's going to leave it off with the trailer. At least the Lakers that time, after the, the quick turn, they pushed it up and got some early offense started. Ah, Gasol, up against Brad Miller. Too, see, that's too long to hold it. They waited for Ariza and Smart, as soon as the whistle went, he just threw it towards the rim. A couple of free throws coming up for Trevor Ariza. I say it was too long to hold it, but at the same time, it took the other four Lakers uh, too long to recognize and to finally have someone dive, make someone cut to the basket and make them pay for the double team on Pau Gasol. The Lakers are now 13 of 14 at the free throw line, and that's another thing that Pau Gasol brought to this team. A big man that can make free throws because the Lakers finished last year sixth best in the NBA at free throw percentage. A lot of games run to the strike. As the Lakers found out winning 57 with the best record in the West. 51-49, Lakers by two. Salvin leaving it off for Mikey Moore. That's his game. Yep. Spotting up from inside 15 feet. Former Nebraska Cornhusker. Shoots the outside jump. How about those Huskers? Good game for the Huskers over the weekend. Kobe, beautiful pass by Lamar. There's Lamar being Lamar. Just move, Lamar will get you ball. So the assist up in game number three for the Lakers of the preseason. And then don't forget, you can join us at Staples Center over the weekend. Lakers playing both games at 7.30 on Saturday night and Sunday night. It'll be FC Barcelona on Saturday night. Brad Miller trying to barge his way in, and Lamar's length took it away, even though Garcia had the position inside. Brad Miller trying to barge his way in, and Lamar's length took it away, even though Garcia had the position inside. That's the long arm of Lamar. He just reached over the top. Didn't even jump, just tapped it to himself. Plenty of time on the shot block. Fish caught underneath. Out of bounds, out of bounds underneath. On the line. It's rare, of, it's rare when you see Derek down there like that. Not a lot of real estate there to operate with. Uh, as they were running their corner series. And Derek is supposed to cut. He did cut, but he got the return pass and ran out of space. Francisco Garcia almost got it off the top of the glass to fall. <laughs> That's the soft touch if it goes down. And Derek gets it to the other end. So Derek hit his first, missed his second, now gets his 30s, two of three, in 11 minutes of play. And the Lakers with a four-point lead.
That is their biggest lead so far. Largest from Sacramento in the first half was seven. Give and go. Udrin. And the short corner three, Garcia. Didn't get the roll. Ooh, that's some soft rims. He'll get the roll this time. I do like the way Pau Gasol came out and challenged that shot from the ball. Yeah, you didn't just quit him. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You may not you know, think you're affecting it, but you will. Gasol, but it didn't work before that ball ever came in. <laughs> well, Brad Miller had a hold, uh, had him a bear hug around the waist area there, and uh, if uh, Brad could have just got it, gotten out of the way before the whistle, might have pulled the chair a little bit. Andrew Bynum waiting for his opportunity to get in the game. He started the game tonight. He played 12 minutes, played the first six minutes, and then six more in the second. He had a board and a couple of points, also a couple of fouls. Kobe finding space over Collins. He's challenged that and stayed with the play. The Lakers have this 44%, 44% for the Sacramento Kings. Salmon's game. Manny Burns. One point lead for the Kings, 56. 55. Yes. Derek Fisher. Long two for Derek Fisher. Just warming up, isn't he? <laughs> Got that regular season look on his face, though. Kobe thought he was fouled after he poked the ball away by Sanders. And it'll be following Lamar over. You know, when you see that a, an offensive guy is come off the high screen and he's dribbling flat to the sideline and you know your teammate's going to double him up over there, don't wait for him to make the pass. Start making your move now. Get into that passing lane and if the foul isn't called, you're on your way going the other way. Inside a 10 of the shot block for the Kings. Stopped there, didn't it? Well, Sam got past the basket and then blew it. He got beat up all the way to the basket. <laughs> Derrick's got the hot hand. Will it continue? Barely. Got the bottom. And not even close. So here he goes out of bounds. Glanced off whether it was the bottom of the backboard or the rim. It went out of bounds. Fitz just wanted to find out after hitting the last couple. He's now three of five. He check, huh? Preseason check. <laughs> How many games did they play in the preseason, Stu, when you were playing? Too many. You feel that strongly about it? <laughs> Kobe takes it across. And it's going to be a charge call. It'll go the other way. But it was interesting, and I bring it up because Bill Jackson talked about uh, the way that his college coach was get him ready. Well, and one way. thing you don't want to do is run in a straight line. Start going left and right a little earlier. That way the defender, in this case Brad Miller, would have had to move his feet a couple of times, and then you're more apt to get the blocking foul. But if you go in a straight line, you're going to be in deep trouble. Ball kicked out of bounds. I don't think Phil Jackson is uh, in agreement with how they're setting the screens in this game. <laughs> it's the second time. Yep. He's uh, leaped off the pitch. Uh, maybe not leaped, but stood up. He looks good, though, I think. He looks healthy. All for a reason, takes the offensive charge. Well, things have changed. Uh, the two days the coaches could run, Andrew. What was it, 32 two a days? He was talking about Bill Fitch getting the team ready and well, back, only one preseason game. Back in those days, you could play, you could have two a days through the whole training camp. But the rules now are such that you can only have the first six days of camp it can be two, uh, two a days. After that, you can't have two a days. Good ball, but Trevor Reese didn't get it, but Pau Gasol there to clean it up. Yeah, things have definitely changed with the, yeah. Yeah, with the Players Association and the collective bargaining agreement. We're halfway through the third, but the Lakers up by three. Good look for John Thomas. And Lamar will get the board. Lamar, this is by far the best he has looked in the preseason. Oh, he's been active and he's been making things happen. On top of the ball, Salmon smacked it away. In transition, Francisco baby jumper. Garcia. Hard one, the baby jumper. And he's short on it. Lamar with Gasol. And Lamar was going to take some bodies, wasn't he? He took them. He yeah, took two of them. I'm taking, I'm taking some casualties here. <laughs> Francisco Gar Garcia, he's probably going to get the foul, and he definitely took the worst of all of that. He's slow getting up. And Lamar Odom attacking the rack. <laughs> and also 
attacking Garcia. There'll be free throws when we come back. Five forty-eight to play in the third. The Lakers up by three. Lamar Odom drawing the contact from the foul of the opposite end. Mo well, Carmax brings you our text question: a chance to win. Trevor Reza, Lamar Odom, Vladimir Rodmanovich. Who do you think should start this year? That's small forward. Text the number eight six two one two on your cell. That's eight six two one two on your cell phone. Lamar looking good. Yeah, Lamar is uh, energetic tonight because the numbers, if you look at his numbers, they're not that overwhelming at all. But he's just been involved in a lot of things in this ball game. And that's really where you like to see Lamar because he's going to rebound for you. Uh, and he's going to score. It's just a matter of how much he's going to score. I think if people want him to be a lot bigger scorer than he uh, wants to be to a large degree. He only has three points tonight with seven boards and a few assists. But. He's the type of guy that creates problems for the opposition because of his versatility. And I think Phil Jackson is trying to take advantage of a lot of that versatility. It's funny the way things work, though. Lamar, Lamar took two quick shots to start the game. And he has to because it was probably fresh on his mind. Okay, he wants me to shoot, right. I'm going to shoot. But it's not his makeup. Yeah, it's definitely not his personality. So, since he got it off his chest, I'm okay, he was, I'll shoot. He, what, no he matter, forgot about shooting. No matter what, <laughs> we, all, we always revert back to what we are where we feel most comfortable. And Lamar feels most comfortable being a playmaker. It just looks more fluid out there right now. He's got seven boards. And the way he rebounded for the Lakers was so key last year after Andrew Bynum went down. Maria so Powell picked it up the, uh, the glass as Andrew Bynum's back into the game now taking over. And it looks like the Lakers are a little so action out of the timeout. No, they just got out of position defensively. Because <laughs> it looked, there was a scramble, and all of a sudden, it looked, yeah. is that a box at one? 60-56, <laughs> Lakers keep it to the offensive end. They get a break on that transition play, because that wasn't run to perfection by any stretch of the imagination. Jason Thompson returns Jason Thompson. to the Sacramento Well, a solid first half of play. He was two of five, but he did have five boards, six points in 13 minutes. Their first round pick out of Ryder. Well, a lot of people, when he was drafted, remember that Jason who out of Ryder? Are you serious? Out of bounds. It'll stay in the Lakers' end. And I bring that up, Stu, because remember when Donald Foy was taken out of Colgate so early in the draft, and a lot of people said, why would you take him? Because he didn't face great competition in college, so you don't know. That's why they, they paid the scouts the big bucks. Find out who to draft and be able to say with some certainty that this guy can play here. Yeah, and Donald never developed an offensive game in the NBA. He could rebound, he could defend, but he never became a scorer. Andrew Bynum, good play. Soft Bynum. touch by Drew. Well, I like the way he kept the ball low, almost a swing through to touch the floor, and then quick off the ground to off the floor to get the hoop. While we're watching purple, we're thinking blue right now, if you know what I mean. Dodgers. Brad number in the corner. Gets the triple. 62-59. Lakers by three. Inside of five to play in the third. Boy, look at the winner. Yeah. There's DNA from Andrew Vineman. And Brad Miller's got some of it. Fish. Scoops. Well, how many times can Derek try to get there? And he does. But that finish. Nice good pass. look by Udrick. Thompson rejected. That's what you want to see from Andrew Bynum. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see. And that's what they're going to count on Andrew to do a lot of this year. Fish fouled. He was waiting for a whistle. It was like a delayed reaction by Derek. Like, get alive, buddy. You serious? But he never released the ball. The 19, right, and it was going to be up and down if, if he didn't get the whistle for Eli Rowe. But that look by Derek. <laughs> <laughs> but Andrew Bynum, this is the area where they're going to count on him. Rebounding and being that last line of defense and make plays just like that. Block it, keep it in play, start the team going the other way. Because if he's on the floor, he's going to score X number of points. But the biggest thing that he brings to the table for this team, this Los Angeles Laker team, is his defensive ability and his rebound. Yeah, guarding the rim. And the one thing that stood out when you said that was keep it in play. And that's uh, it's something that's hard to teach the big guys because it teach anybody. Because normally when you block a shot, you swing your arm so hard that it, it goes out of bounds. And the majority of block shots go back to the offensive team. But when Bill Russell, say, back in the day was blocking shots, he would just touch it. And the 
majority of his blocks went to his team. Ulrich on the lead. Looked like a pretty good lead guard that time, didn't he? Scoring guard. Used his pick effectively. Well, that's what he does. I mean, he'll run that high screen and roll. And if you give him a 15-footer, you know, he's going to knock down a high percentage. It's out of four. Kovic, isolation, but Thompson was flashing into the double. And Kobe, take a layup. He was that close to the basket. Then a little elbow to the chest of John Salmons. <laughs> Talk about taking away the player's ability to jump off the floor. Kobe jumped into his chin. He got nine on four of 12. See, the Lakers are scrambling right now, so people are open. Thompson, very alert play on a, on a miss Jason by Udre Thompson. Yeah, but that's because the Lakers went to double team, and I don't know if that was in the game plan from that position. Fish, and Andrew's there. It looked like Fish was blocked. <laughs> that was a pass all the way, I thought. Yeah, sure. Seriously, I thought 68, that was a pass. 68-63. It worked either way. Setting up, it's Udry. And Ariza kept it away. A young man who just checked into the game with a mohawk. Dante Green, first round pick. It's called a throwhawk. Is that what it is? Not a mo, but a throw. Throwhawk. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's got it. Little step back from Ariza. He sized it up well, didn't he? 70, 63, Lakers with their biggest lead. Oh, you talking about making an adjustment in the air. <laughs> he did, never did square up off the ground, but while in the air, he had his body turned enough He's to facing knock it down. A 6'10 guy in Dante Green. A little thicker as well at 225. Brad Miller, he can make that short that time, but he's got range. Green will pick up the loose stuff. Nobody guarding Brad Miller. Andrew Bynum fouled him. So the Lakers they just broke down defensively. Oh, that, time. that was a bad play there. The Lakers just got a little bit out of position and ended up giving Brad Miller some free throws as Kobe gives John Salmons a nice move and turnabout for Trevor Ariza. Lakers basketball brought to you by Mercedes-Benz, located on the web at mbusa.com. Lakers by seven. Couple of free throws coming up for Brad Miller with 2.10 to play in the third. Now, Carmack text question once again, an opportunity to win. 86212 is the number you want to text on your cell. 86212, Trevor Ariza. L.O. or Vladimir Rodmanovich. Who's going to start for the Lakers, in your opinion? That small forward. And right now, surprisingly, Rodmanovich is your choice. Drew with a couple of nice plays. Uh, Andrew Bynum is uh, starting to get the timing and things back, not only on the offensive end, but the defensive end. And, you know, people think, oh, well, you should be able to just step on the floor and play. So it's basketball. But when you've been away from the game from a competitive standpoint since January, you, you just don't step out on the floor in a couple of games and get the timing back. So it's going to take Andrew the whole preseason and maybe even longer to, uh, to get the timing and everything back the way he would like to have it. Andrew Bynum was our guest with John Ireland on the postgame show from Anaheim. And he said, you know, I'm just rusty. Yeah. I, I got to get it back. And he brought up the word timing a couple of times. But it, the rust, just shake it off. But rust and timing, are, you know, they're, they're synonymous with one another. They're the same thing. You know, when you're rusty, your timing's off. That's the way it is. Well, Brad Miller is going to the free throw line. This is a guy that wasn't drafted. Brad Miller. Started his career with the Hornets, one of the Bucks, Pacers. Sixth year now with Sacramento. Yeah, the first of two. Sacramento Jordan adding Lamar, Thompson Lamar, and Lamar, Green this Lamar. year. They've added a couple of other guys over the last couple of years. And then in 2010 is going to be where they have cap room. So they're looking at the free agent class of 2010. That summer. Not this summer, but the next summer. They're going to have flexibility. Brad Miller makes it a five-point game at 70 to 65 as Josh Pollard's come back into the game with the, for the Lakers. Kobe, he wanted to make the extra pass, but Brad Miller jumped it. Got it away from Josh Powell, a turnover. Powell number 21, Josh Powell. Josh Powell and Vladimir Rodmanovich out of the town. Now coming in with Jordan Farmar and Kobe Carl taking it over for the other Kobe. Kobe Bryant will sit down. And believe it or not, I, I mean, I think 
uh, obviously, guys, Kobe's so competitive. He loves to play, wants to play. I, I would really restrict his minutes in here in the preseason because he's played so much. I, I just think his legs need a rest. Nobody's played more minutes over the last two years in the NBA than Kobe Bryant. And then he, of course, played over the summer. And all those minutes on the floor for the U.S. team. Bill Jackson's already said it. There's a way he'd like to get it down. Kobe played, played almost 39 a game. As Kobe Carl is long with the three. Lakers back in transition. Sammons creating space, then jumping back into Kobe Carl again. And that's probably why the whistle didn't sound. Oh! And final on Spencer Hawes. Uh, Kobe Carl usually on the arc that time. Good to see him go to the rack. Oh, you know, there are times when, you know, Kobe will show something going to the rim. And you, keep, so you say to yourself, you don't have to settle for that long three-pointer so much. You know, don't just catch and fire, catch and fire. Catch and read. You have the ability to do some other things. Showcase some of that. And we have talked about two guys that are an uh, integral part of the rotation for the Lakers. And we'd like to see them. Sasha Vujicic, half his shots last year were three-point attempts. Jordan Varmar, almost 50% were three-point attempts. And both are good enough to take the mid-range game. And especially that young man who had a breakthrough year last year. He's got a beautiful stroke. And Sasha Vujicic, the machine will be back. They're playing it safe with the ankle that's been a bit tender. Six-point game, 71-65 as Kobe Carl gets one of two. Rodmanovic off the miss. Yeah, what a great start to the night for Vladi in the starting lineup. The space at the door to double, Andrew Bynum. Cody for the hook. Yep. Use the off arm to get around Spencer Hawes. Jordan Vonmar with the offensive foul. Turnover still there for the Lakers. They've got 16 compared to 17 to the Sacramento Kings. So you don't want that to be a trend going into the regular season. And that has been a concern. The one thing that Phil Jackson has brought up repeatedly, they have to clean it up. I tell you, Phil has really been into this game verbally. He's done as much talking tonight, whether it's to his own team or to the officials. Andrew Bynum kept it away from Jason Thompson. Looks, looks young, looks healthy. He's into it, animated. Shot clock, game clock separated by about four seconds. Andrew Bynum jump up. Josh Powell taps it around, keeps it alive. Rodmanovich. And offensive foul off arm on Blotty. Offensive foul. In the thick of things, you're not looking at the shot clock, but they could have pulled it back out for the final shot. Yeah, but when you when you have a big, especially, he gets an offensive rebound right there in the paint. I'm not that disappointed that you just don't try to power it back up. Dante Green. Long range, right on line. Good looking stroke. And that'll do it as the Lakers outscore Sacramento by eight in the third 12. Well, they've got 12 more minutes here in game three to see if they can notch their first win of the preseason. They lead the Sacramento Kings by six, heading into the fourth and final quarter.